Welcome to the Ribbon Connect Portal Tutorial for Partners. This tutorial contains a portal overview, along with instruction on how to log in and navigate the portal. You will also learn about the information you will need before you start making updates in the portal, as well as specific instruction on connecting MS Teams to a phone system and SIP trunk services. We will also provide you with resources that you may need for your specific deployment. Ribbons Connect Portal offers an easy-to-use interface to enable distributors and partners to manage services and customers. The portal offers various levels of access depending on the user role. The distributor role for which screens are provided to enable the partner and customer setup as well as service allocation, and the partner role for which screens are available for customer service configuration. This tutorial focuses on the latter. With that in mind, let's get started by logging in. To log in, use the credentials and URL provided in your welcome email. Once you have logged in, you will be taken to a screen that looks like this. To navigate within the portal, you will need to be familiar with a few basics. At the top of the page, you will see the top navigation menu. At the top left of the page, you will see your partner name. To navigate to the customer portal, click the blue link on the same line as the customer name. On the customer portal view, you will notice the top navigation bar options will change. Click the Services tab to access screens to connect PBX, Trunks, or Teams services, and the User tab to upload PBX and Teams users. On the right side of the top navigation bar, you will notice Account and Subaccount breadcrumbs, which you can reference to confirm you are viewing the correct account. Next, you will see a back arrow that will allow you to quickly navigate one level up in the hierarchy. You will also notice a Support link, which you can click to access resources and tools. The avatar on the far right represents your account profile. Click to log out or update profile setting. Another set of tabs are available on the center navigation menu. To connect Teams to a phone system or PBX, you will need access to the PBX so that you can compile user information detailed here. You may also need to set up devices for some users. To connect SIP trunks to Teams, you will need the service provider information, the domain name, and access to the DNS panel. For Microsoft Teams setup, you will need global admin credentials and a minimum of one spare license. Let's get started connecting services. To access the customer account, click Account and then select the customer. Next, click the Customer Portal link located on the same line as the customer name. On the Customer Portal, navigate to the PBX tab from the Services menu. Next, click the down arrow and select the PBX that you will be updating. Once you select the PBX type, a configuration template form will appear with most of the fields populated. Update any blank fields with the information that you previously compiled and adjust any editable fields to meet your deployment needs. If your PBX is not listed in the drop-down menu, a custom PBX option is available. However, all fields will need to be populated. To request a new PBX type be added to the drop-down menu, submit the request form located on the Ribbon Connect help page. To connect a SIP trunk to your solution, click the Trunk tab from the Services Navigation menu. Next, select the Service Provider name from the drop-down box. Once you select your service provider, validate the country and update the DID ranges for your project. Lastly, provide your admin credentials. Once again, if your service provider is not on the list, you may create a custom trunk. Contact the trunk service provider if you need support with this information. To request a new service provider be added to the Interop drop-down list, submit the request located on the Help page. To update the Teams settings, click the Teams tab located in the center navigation menu. Next, click the blue Enable Sync button. You will be prompted to enter the global admin credentials and ask to grant permission for the sync. Once complete, you will see a green notification message at the top right of the screen. Once the team's sync is complete, navigate to the Users tab located on the top navigation menu. From here, you may select to add users individually or import a list of users. To import users, be sure to use the template provided. Select the services from the list of services created previously. Click Choose File and select the file from your library. Next, click the blue Upload button. Now, click the blue Sync button at the top right of the screen. 
Enter your Microsoft Global Admin credentials and wait for the green Sync Complete notification. To add or update users individually, click the Add User button. Select a user from the drop-down list and enter the SIP credentials. Next, click the blue Add button. Click the Sync Now button on the top right and wait for the portal to complete the sync. Once users have been added, you can view the status by scrolling down to the user list. Green icons will appear if registration is successful. If icons are red, click the Sync Now button to resolve the registration issue. You can also make updates to existing users from this page by clicking the Expand arrow. From here, you can edit available services and adjust subscriptions as necessary. Once you have completed the setup, users should see a call icon on their Microsoft Teams left navigation bar. To access the dial pad, they must click the call icon. To place a call, enter the phone number and click the call button. Once calls are successfully made, testing is complete. There are a variety of resources available on the Ribbon Connect help page. We invite you to review these in advance of your first implementation. Thank you for completing the Ribbon Connect Partner Tutorial.